Hello, it's been a few months since I've given any updates on my TBS Discovery Pro. So I thought it was about time that uh, I would show you some of the changes that I've made to it since I finished construction in probably the last video. And a number of things that I have made as far as modifications to it that I think have improved at least from what I had bought originally online as I've learned about things that I like and don't like. Um, I've only got about 10 flights um, on it since I've actually finished it, mostly because it's the dead of winter here in Minnesota and it's so cold out, you don't want to be outside. Uh, but I am looking forward to spring and getting out and uh, flying. So I'm going to uh, show you the things that I've uh, changed and uh, hope some of this information. All right, well, here's how it looks today compared to when I had started on it. And uh, right off the bat, uh, things that you'll probably notice that are different is uh, yeah, it is standing on landing gear here. Uh, this is some very high-tech landing gear. Uh, these are just some carbon fiber aero shafts that uh, have a bolt thread protector on the bottom to keep any dirt or anything out uh, from going in it. And then they're just zip-tied to the uh, outside of the, uh, the legs. Uh, this has done one thing. It, you know, it gets the uh, GoPro uh, out of the grass if you're landing in any grass. That way the gimbal isn't struggling against uh, grass blades, uh, but in my case, uh, the 1.3 gigahertz antenna here, which I have hanging down under the craft, uh, it also keeps that uh, out of the, out of the uh, off the ground too. Um, the reason for the uh, antenna being mounted like that, the 1.3 gigahertz, it's I, I can't exactly prove this, but it's claimed that uh, that's very close to the frequency of the uh, GPS up here on the top, and the uh, GPS receiver on the top can receive interference from that. I'm not sure that that four inches of space actually makes any difference, but it seems better than have them uh, snuggled up against each other. Uh, so that's how that mounting, and my, my video is quite good from it, the reception is. Uh, the Originally, the video on this, uh, on some of the shots on the internet, was from uh, this over here, which was from uh, TBS. It's the uh, Lawmate uh, 2.4 uh, gigahertz, and uh, this long uh, whip antenna. And then also, uh, here's the, uh, the Lawmate uh, transmitter, which I had uh, modified and installed a heat sink on. Uh, both of those worked just fine, and I had a uh, Yagi antenna with that. Uh, the whole combination worked okay, but uh, now and then I'd get an interference with it, and uh, I'm not one for... I'm uncomfortable enough just flying first-person video, let alone to deal with any interference. So I switched that out, and that's likely going to land on eBay here. Uh, in exchange for the uh, ready-made uh, RC uh, 1.3 gigahertz that's here, which in turn also, as you see here, uh, I've modified it fairly extensively from the case that it came in. It came in this big aluminum case, uh, stripped it right down to the transmitter module, uh, cut the top out of it, uh, installed an aluminum slug along with a heat sink, and uh, using conductive, uh, thermally conductive epoxy, put the thing back together. And uh, this transmitter uh, works really nice. I've had it out over two miles and get crystal clear video back on it. Uh, additionally, other things that I've done to it that uh, you might find interesting is uh, this item right here. This is a uh, GPS tracker. The uh, tracker is by a company called uh, TAG, T-A-G-G, -G, and it's uh, used for finding cats and dogs. And it has an iPhone and Android app that accompany this that... Uh, for only $7 a month uh, for one of these trackers, if you actually have two of them. I have one on my dog already. This is the second one, and the second one's only a dollar a month. Uh, you can then get real-time tracking on it so that if, I, uh, if this goes down some distance out of sight, I can just look at my phone and see exactly uh, where the quadcopter is at to retrieve it. Uh, because I'm pretty sure that uh, in all the busy, busy work of me crashing it someday, I'm not going to be paying great attention to where I'm crashing it at. So uh, this will allow me to recover it. Uh, continuing on, there's uh, a number of these uh, voltage alarms here. Uh, I find those quite handy. It's, it's one last check on the, the health and stuff on batteries to make sure that all the cells are balanced. 
I've stuck a number of those on my equipment. They just weigh a few grams. So I've got one here next to the uh, Easy UHF diversity transmitter uh, on the back. Um, I've also added uh, lights to it uh, just so that uh, you can get orientation of how, how the craft is flying. Um, bear with me just a second here and I'll uh, turn them okay. on and show you. Uh, I put power to it. Uh, the gimbal has uh, centered and it's nice and level. Um, let me turn the lights on here. So here in the front we have a row of green LEDs. Of course then on the back uh, red LEDs on both arms. And then just for my own amusement, uh, on the bottom, uh, strips of running lights, I guess. Uh, and I think landing at night, uh, if you're looking down through the GoPro, straight down, uh, those lights will give you some sense of the height from the ground, because it'll illuminate the ground. There you have it. Uh, that's everything I've changed on it so far. I don't have anything else at the moment that's in the queue to be done to it. Um, oh, one thing I'd add, in case people want to copy it, uh, those arrow shafts that uh, became the landing gear, uh, those are five and a half inches long. Uh, those work really well. I actually tried the uh, DJI uh, flame wheel legs. They're actually made by DJI and put those underneath the craft. Um, those are much flimsier. If there's any forward momentum at all, they just snap off. Uh, these aero shafts, uh, you can take a pretty hard landing, and the worst thing that happens is the zip ties that are on them uh, break and uh, absorb a lot of the energy and you'll find that uh, your quadcopter is pretty much unharmed um, but it is nice to get it up out of the grass well that's it i'm going to spring's coming uh, log a bunch more flight hours and uh, hopefully some good updates uh, or at least flight video thanks for watching